Problem 7. How many integers between 2020 and 2400 have four distinct digits arranged in an increasing order? Well, we know that the range 2020 to 2400. What do you notice about these two bounds? Well, the thousands digit never changes. So in other words, whatever four digit number we have, this has to be a two. Since this is an increasing order, what can the smallest term be for the hundredth digit? Well, the number that's next to two is three. So this term has to be a three or larger. So we can also have, for example, two four something. But wait a minute, the upper bound is two four hundred. And obviously two to four is increasing, but then this decreases, this decreases. So this does not satisfy the criteria. <coughs> so in other words, we can only have the hundredth digit to be three, because if the hundredth digit were to be four, then no number would satisfy the given boundary. So we must, we must understand how many possible numbers can go to the tens digit, how many total numbers can go to the units digit. Well, if I were to have three here, then what is the smallest number that can, that can go into the tens digit? Well the, well, the answer is four, right? So four, five, six, seven, eight. Why can I not have nine? If I have nine here, then this must be a 10 at minimum. And this doesn't make sense. We can only have one digit numbers. So we cannot have nine in the, in the tens digit, but we can have it within the units digit because the smallest number must be five in order to compensate for the smallest number to be four, right? Let's say I choose four. That's, a, that's the smallest possible number for the tens digit. So the smallest possible number for the units digit must be one greater than that, which is five. That's how I got the balance. So with this, how many total pairings do we have? Well, four compared five compared six, seven, eight, or nine. That would all work. We have five total possibilities. But what about five? Five cannot pair at five. It can only pair at six, seven, eight, and nine. So we have four, then we have three, then we have two, then we have one. One being eight and nine. That's the only one possible pairing. So how many total pairings do we have? Well, that's six times five divided by two to get 15. So your answer choice is answer choice C.